Thank you for coming out once again today. Um, it's a tragic commemoration. It will never be able to make right what is wrong or get back what is lost for the family. But it's important that we're able to take these moments to, to recognize that we're able to make this road, this very highly traveled road, safer, not only for the people who travel on it, but for the families and the children who live on either side of this highway and who use these, uh, these city resources that are on this side of the highway. This is an opportunity to commemorate the good that can happen when local municipalities, when the city of Gainesville and the state of Florida, Florida Department of Transportation, can work together to quite literally save lives. Dylan Roberts was born on December 30th, 2016, the youngest of five siblings. His mother, Megan Durant, remembers him as a high-spirited, loving, energetic, and caring little boy. He was a very special part of her heart who loved to dance and play with his friends. He liked the Power Rangers, Sonic the Hedgehog, and the Ninja Turtles. Dylan's dream was to go to kindergarten. Every day he talked about how exciting it would be when he was big enough to start school. It was October 27, 2021, an otherwise ordinary day when four-year-old Dylan went to the park across the street from his house. He was with a group of his siblings and another young relative from the neighborhood. They loved being outside and Fred Cone Park was a favorite place to play for those of you that don't know where Fred Cone Park is. It's right down there. When it was time to head back home, the group of children stepped into the road. A car traveling on East University Avenue struck Dylan as he was crossing the street. The news stunned and saddened the entire community. The memory of Dylan can go forth and it's a tragedy, but what you've done is you've taken this tragedy and turned it into uh, a memory that, that we all can live by and we can understand and we can also have things like this safety crosswalk that y'all have uh, action for. And again, thank you for, for the city for advocating for this and what y'all have done. So your perseverance, um, your heartbreak, um, which we can't imagine, you know, we can try to empathize with you, but, but we can't really imagine what that's like, but we can try to understand, have empathy with you. And I want to just, again, thank you for what you've done, for your perseverance. Uh, it was great meeting you in Tallahassee, and I'm glad to work with you again. Thank you for my partners in getting this done. Thanks. I am grateful for all of the work and all of the support of a number of individuals. One thing about what you're looking at behind me and in front of you is this effort has taken us all. It has taken us all. And it is not lost on me, the hard work, the time, the dedication that members of this community, members of the city of Gainesville, etc., have given to make this possible. City of Gainesville, Florida, Office of Mayor Harvey Ward proclamation. Whereas, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, in 2024, pedestrian fatalities between 2013 and 2022 had increased 57% from 4,779 to 7,522. And whereas the American Academy of Pediatrics in 2023 warned of immense pedestrian fatality risks for those children who reside in more disadvantaged areas, which often have larger roads with a higher traffic burden. And whereas, on October 27th, 2021, an otherwise ordinary day, a four-year-old child, Dylan Roberts, born on December 30, 2016, and the youngest of five siblings, went to Fred Cone Park just across the street from his home in Gainesville with relatives to play in one of their favorite outdoor play spaces. And whereas, upon returning home, the group of children stepped into the roadway and a car traveling on East University Avenue struck and took the life of Dylan. And whereas his mother, Megan Durant, remembers Dylan as a high-spirited, loving, energetic, and caring little boy who loved to dance and play with his friends, 
enjoyed watching the Power Rangers, Sonic the Hedgehog, and the Ninja Turtles, and spoke with his mother every day about how exciting it would be when he was big enough to start school, as his dream was to attend kindergarten. And whereas, in the time since Dylan's tragic death, Megan Durant has attended city commission meetings, advocated for change, and inspired local action for a new crosswalk with a pedestrian hybrid beacon on the road where Dylan was struck. And whereas, immediately after the tragedy, District 1 City Commissioner Desmond Duncan Walker called a meeting with city staff at the site of the accident to discuss and implement steps that the city could take to make East University Avenue safer, while they coordinated with the Florida Department of Transportation and the Florida State Legislature. And whereas, Commissioner Duncan Walker and the City of Gainesville requested a beacon light and crosswalk. A formal passage of a bill from the Florida Legislature was necessary in order to allow the Florida Department of Transportation to place suitable markers at that location in honor of Dylan Roberts. And whereas, Megan Durant traveled to Tallahassee for state capitol meetings with local delegation members, appearing at the Florida House Transportation and Modals Subcommittee, hearing on January 10th, 2024, where she bravely shared Dylan's story. And whereas the city state legislators, Representative Yvonne Henson and Senator Keith Perry, filed bills HB 61 and SB 806, respectively, to formally provide an honorary designation for the Dylan Roberts Memorial Crosswalk during the 2024 state legislative session. And whereas these efforts culminated with the inclusion of the Dylan Roberts Memorial Crosswalk into a larger transportation facility designation bill HB 389 that was unanimously passed by both the Florida House and the Florida Senate, then was approved by the governor on July 2nd, 2024. And whereas work on the signal and crosswalk is now finished and by installation from the state of Florida's Department of Transportation has officially been designated in memory of Dylan Roberts. And whereas the city's vision zero policy maintains the goal of eliminating traffic deaths in the city of Gainesville by 2040. Now, therefore, I, Harvey L. Ward Jr., by the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Gainesville, do hereby proclaim this mid-block crossing and pedestrian hybrid beacon portion of East University Avenue, State Road 26, between Northeast 26 Terrace and Southeast 26 Terrace as Dylan Roberts Memorial Crosswalk in the city of Gainesville and invite all our neighbors to join me in solemnity to remember the life of Dylan Roberts, as we vow to move forward with our commitment toward improving pedestrian safety for our most vulnerable neighbors. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused to be affixed the official seal of the city of Gainesville this 24th day of September, 2024. Harvey Ward, Mayor. Thank you all. I would like to first say thank you all for being here today to honor the memories of my beloved son, Dylan Roberts, age four. This crosswalk stands as a symbol of his love, his life being taken so soon, and his wonderful memories. We can help educate our community to use the crosswalk. And that's what's gonna be important to make sure that Dylan's life is not in vain. As you see people, as you see young children and young people and, and anybody, using the street and not using a crosswalk, just stop and say, hey, you know, a young man lost his life. Um, and so it's worth it for you to just take a couple of steps more and just hit the button and walk through the crosswalk. 